Alice Shea here. We have a Craftably unboxing for you today. Now, I love this one. It is in a series of paintings. So this is just the next one in the series that Craftably has carried. This is from the artist Sheena Pike. And if you're familiar with some of the other paintings that uh, Craftably has come out with, it's her Munchkin Z Girls. There's been so many. There's been, um, let's see. There's Penelope, Gracie the Gardener, Cat Chloe, Cat Crazy Chloe. Um, let's see, there's Puppy Craze Petunia, Butterfly Brielle, Java Joanna. There's so many. And now they're bringing us a Halloween one, Halloween Hannah, okay? This is in stock currently at Craftably. So if you were interested in grabbing this, I would not wait till the holidays because it probably will be gone. Um, they did send this to me to show you guys. So thank you to the folks over at Craftably. Really do appreciate it. Um, I love Sheena Pike. I've actually done an event before with her paintings and uh, I'm so glad that she's back with them. So we're gonna unbox this today. Uh, let's just take a look. So the box is great, it's in great condition. It does have a big sticker on the side. So let's look at some of the details. Halloween Hannah, and it is round. It's a 24 by 18 in inches. And in centimeters, that's 45 by 60 in centimeters. So great size. And y'all, it comes with so many ABs and crystals and all the things. So we'll talk about that in just a second. And again, this is licensed artwork from Sheena Pike and it is poured glue, okay? And it is in stock. I wanted to show you guys an in stock product right now that you can get immediately, right? So let's look at this. Um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be doing this for Halloween. There's a couple different diamond painting events, uh, community events that um, this would definitely fit for. So let's get into this. Now, uh, this is one of their newer kits that they just came out with. So um, I don't know if you've seen this unboxed yet. I have not. So I'm very, very excited about this. The, the Let's see, the toolkit and their soft burlap bag is actually in the dust bag with the painting. I like that. So you don't, sometimes I, I tell you to shake out the box, but being, let's just do it just because, but yeah, there's nothing else in there. I'll leave the box there. So if you want to see her, I love how they have a big sticker here. And on the painting, it is gonna have, um, there's like the serial number. It says MC2336R. That matches the same number here, okay? But on the actual canvas, there's gonna be a sticker too on the drills. So if you do store them separately. But even the dust bag has that. So, okay, let's go ahead and look at the toolkit and then we'll get into the painting. So again, these are reusable bags. They're like a soft burlap. Craftably has done these burlap bags for quite some time. And they have a lot of extra goodies in here. Not just your basic toolkit, which you do get, but you get other things too. So their their color, their brand color is purple, as you can see from the box and the bag. So a lot of your accessories will have will be purple, which I love that they've done that. So let's look and see what the basic toolkit consists of. So you do get a purple tray, okay? It's a very nice tray with a spout. And then you get purple tweezers, and these are the, the sharp ones, which I love. And then here is your pen. Oops, the pen's right here. And then there is a four placer, a thin white four, four placer. They also give you a seven placer, which is my favorite. And then another four placer. And then there's a squishy for your pen. It just slides right on there. Purple wax, love that, two pads of that. And there's more. Okay, so here's all the extra goodies that Craftably includes. You do get a cover minder, you get more additional wax, and you get washi tape. So I, it looks like we got a porcupine. Love this one. This was a, a very sought after uh, cover minder for a long time. People were trying to get the, um, now it looks like the magnet did fall off this, but all I have to do is just get some E6000 and just re-glue the, um, the magnets back. But this holds back your plastic while you're diamond painting. So I got the pink porcupine. She's so cute. And I like these little boxes too. You can definitely repurpose these and put like your multi-placers in there, wax. You can hold several different things with this. But you do get a little pot of wax and it is purple wax and it is a branded pot. It's got a little lid. Now, before you start diamond painting, uh, there is a film on these. Now you get three of these. So there is a film on each of them. So just peel back that film before you put your pen in there to start diamond painting. But I love these pots because it keeps the wax from drying out. So you got that and you get two rolls of random washi tape. Looks like this is gonna be great with that painting. It's got the black and white kind of Halloween theme. Love that. So they really give you a lot of things in their toolkit, which I really do appreciate. All right, so that is their not so basic toolkit. I'm just gonna slide all that to the side. 
and let's get into the main event. I'm so excited. Um, I have several of these Munchkin Z girls. So that's why I asked Craftably if I could have um, Halloween Hannah because I have Java Joanna and I've completed her. I have Butterfly Brielle, um, Puppy Craze Petunia. I have so many of them. They're just, they're so cute. So I'm glad they came out with another one and it's a holiday themed one, which I think is so great. All right, so here we have our canvas, okay? It does have a little piece of tape around it. It's just the manufacturer, the factory puts it on there just to keep it from, you know, unraveling. It doesn't hurt the canvas. I just slide it off or you can cut it. Just be careful if you cut it. All right, so craftably, their canvases are very, very soft. It's like a soft felt. They are scalloped and poked, so that means it will not fray, okay? So they really do a great job of quality. I mean, Craftably's quality is there. It always has been. Love it. That's why I'm an affiliate for them because I believe in their product and them. So, all right, shall we do the drill reveal? All right, let's do it, y'all. Let's do the drill reveal wherever you are. Oh, I think it's on this side. Okay, let's shake her out. Okay. I need to tell y'all how many colors and how many ABs and all the things, okay? So since this is a round, a lot of times Craftably will include rhinestones with rounds, okay? Rounds and rhinestones. So it looks like there's some 5200, okay? So there are 60 colors in this painting. Oh, there's several bags. I see, and they do have a sticker. Let me turn it this way so y'all can see. There is another sticker on the drill, so in case you want to store these separate. Some people like to hang up their diamond paintings, like with pant hangers in their closet to like, you know, get it to flatten out a little bit more. And they'll store these like in a, in a tote, like under their bed. So then you'll definitely know what goes to what. So, oh, I see an AB. All right, so let's talk about it. 60 colors, five ABs, and three rhinestones. Yes, y'all, this thing is going to sparkle. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm already seeing, like I said, AB3609. We'll look at all the ABs and all the colors, but there's lots of purples. Some awesome, oh, I see another AB. I see one, two, three. So it looks like some purple, some red. Okay, we'll look at the ABs and all the, the drills in just a minute. Let's go ahead and look at the canvas. Let me move the box. Now, since this is poured glue, I like to roll it back on itself to flatten it out just a little bit faster. Oh my gosh, okay. And there's always some extra goodies in here, which we'll look at in just a second. You get your stickers and all that goodies, okay? All right, we're gonna look at all the detail in this painting. So what I do is I just, I kind of just grab the edge of my table just to kind of stretch it out and release some of that tension. And it's already like self-flattening. I mean, look, look how flat it's already laying just from rubbing it, just like this. I mean, this is amazing. But for filming purposes, and just, I do it for all my paintings before I start. I just like to roll it back on itself just to kind of get it, to lay, like I said, a little bit flatter. Now, we didn't really look at the painting up close, but we will in a second, because there's lots of details um, in this painting in Halloween Hannah. There's lots of fun stuff in her hair. All right, so, oh, they're, and their plastic is so thick on their paintings. It's just the quality, y'all, is amazing. All right, do you want to see her? Okay, Hannah. Oh, what a great size. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. Y'all, go grab this for the holiday. Go grab it for Halloween, for fall, please. It's it's so cute. And like I said, it is in stock. So here she is. We'll look at the sticker sheet in just a second. But let's just go ahead and take a quick tour of the canvas. It does have craftably at the top, so it is branded. And they do have a legend on the top left. And again, there's 60 colors. And then down here, it does show the thumbnail. And it's got, you know, Halloween Hannah, licensed artwork from Sheena Pike. And then over here, it's got their socials and then their, their guarantee. So if you have any problems, please contact them. There's their email, okay? And then there is another legend on the bottom right with a thumbnail. And it's got the size, so it's your schematic, your colored list. Let's see, let's look at the symbols. Looks like all the ones I've seen from Craftably before. I actually just completed a Craftably painting yesterday. So I'm excited about this one. All right, so the way Craftably has it at the very, very bottom, it starts uh, with number 53. You've got AB, and you've got another AB, another AB, another AB, another AB, five ABs, and then LZ are the rhinestones, okay? So those are gonna be the fun, special drills that come in this kit. Okay, wow, let's look at the drill field. Look at all the purple in this. Look at her purple lips and her purple hair. Okay, let's look at one of her eyes. I just wanna show y'all how clear the drill field is so you can see the quality and you're, you're not gonna have any problems finding these symbols. I mean, it just looks so good. Wow, okay. So stickiness, let's check, let's check that real quick. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, very, very sticky. And, and this painting could go pretty quick. Um, there's a lot of color blocking and a little bit of confetti, but it's a lot of color blocking. So this background right here, is all that 5200. When we say color blocking, you've got a huge block of the same color. So this entire background is gonna be that white 5200. So that's gonna go by really quick if you use like a big multi-placer. Same with all here, this is all the white, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the painting. I wanna show you all the sticker that comes with it. And these are great. So they give you a logbook sticker. You can put this in a logbook. This is what I do use it for. And that way you can track like when you started, when you finished. And then here's all the stickers that you need to kit up. And when we say kit up, we mean move these drills, these diamonds from their little baggies over to a storage container, like little, little containers, okay? And that's where you're gonna put these stickers on. Now these stickers are individually cut, which makes it so nice to kit up. And they're just right there, okay? And they give you some extra labels too, if you want that. And then there's just some fun Just Cause stickers. So yes, they do such a great job, y'all. And then there's also a little brochure in here, just a little pamphlet. It talks about, you know, welcome to the Craft of family. If you have any questions, they do sell other accessories. And then these are how to diamond paint instructions. There's eight instructions on here, okay? And then here's the features that come in the kit. All the fun stuff we've been looking at. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, she's so cute. All right, I wanna look at the things I'm seeing right here, okay? Of course, you know, she's got the fun witch hat, okay? With like a little star hanging from it. Um, there's a, a pumpkin right here. And I see a caramel apple, You've got the caramel apple here. You've got these flowers that have little eyeballs inside of them. This looks like a pretzel, like a pretzel hanging from her hair. You've got another pumpkin here, another little scary pumpkin. She's got a cat, almost like a cat brooch on her. Here's another flower with a little creepy eyeball in it. This is actually a spider web that's on her eye. And then she's got a couple little crescent moons, a little right here on her cheek. She, and there's some twigs coming out, love her bow. I mean, and then there's like green coming out. Okay, I wonder if that's gonna be some ABs in there. Love this image, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I chose this one because this means a lot to me. I love Sheena Pike's artwork. And if you're a Sheena Pike fan, definitely go grab this. Cause like I said, it's, the, it's a series of several different other ones that would really look cute together. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the drills. So definitely keep this bag this big bag as a trash bag. Whenever you're, if you're gonna kit up into storage containers, you can just cut these baggies, pour your drills into a storage container and then use this as trash, okay? And it always props open really, really nice like this. And you just throw all your bags in there and then cinch it up and throw it away, okay? And I love how they do put the sticker on there, that's so nice. But yeah, look at, look at how cute she is, y'all. I can show you some of the detail I was pointing out. She's so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the drills and then we'll see where the rhinestones and the ABs go. Now this is new to me. Craftable used to have their drills individually bagged. Now they've gone with the trains. So I've gotta get used to this. Oh good, I chose one, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through these. Uh, so we have 154, it's like a maroon color. We've got 165, 209, that's a great purple, 300, 301, Got one bag of 310, that's black. That's gonna be awesome, okay. These drills look really, really good. I like to look at black because if there's gonna be trash, like little knobbly bits or Swiss cheese looking drills, um, the, the bottoms are really flat, they're very sparkly. I don't see any static. The drills are just falling all right to the bottom. So very, very nice. So 310, that's not very much, that's great. So 317, it's like a gray. We got 318, another gray. 327, purple, and then 400, the brown. All right, let's see if I can keep staying in order. I might be able to, there we go. Okay, so we have 472, 498, 550. That's a really, really pretty purple. Yeah, purple fans love their 550. I figured there was gonna be 550 in there. 676, 677, 680. 712, 720, 729, and 738. All right. Ooh, I'm seeing some sparkly bits, y'all. We're gonna be getting there. All right, so we have 739, 762, 801, 814, 815, 819, 918, 919, 
920 and 934. This looks like a really dark green. See a lot of purples and greens in this, and I'm, I'm seeing the 5200s is going to be all the background. Let's go ahead and we'll look at this one next. So we have 935, 936, different shades of green, 937, 938, so dark brown, 3371, another dark brown color, almost like a black, 3608, 3776, 3799, the gray, 3819, that's a fun green. And then 3829. All right, we're almost done. We've got 402, 413, 414, 415, 435, 436, 437, 469, 470, and 471. So different shades of brown and green. All right, so here's our last train, and then we're going to get into our crystals and the ABs in just a second. All right, so we have a big bag of 38, 37. Here's our 5200s, all that background. We've got one, two, three, four bags of that background. That's awesome. <gasps> okay, here's our first AB. Look at this, y'all. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's a special coating they put on the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. Let me put this around, and y'all can see this big bag of purple ABs. Do you see that coating? Yes, okay, we'll see where these go in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and rip these off so we can have these separate to look at. All right, the next AB is a red. Just a little bag of that. That's awesome. I wonder what that's gonna be, maybe the flowers. Okay, and then the next AB is another color purple. So this is 211. It looks a little bit lighter than this one. See the difference? This is a little bit, a little bit lighter. Yeah, that's a good size bag. So two purples, and then we have 3607, another AB, like a fuchsia, pretty. And then last but not least on the ABs is 3609, and that is a little bag of pink, so another pink. So some pinks, purples, and reds in the ABs. And we'll see where those go in just a sec. And here's the rhinestones. I like how they have everything together. The ABs are together, the rhinestones are together. All right, another purple, y'all. This is LZ208, so it's 208. Look at that purple rhinestone, that's a big bag. And then we have 666, the red, a red rhinestone. And then our last one is 740, it's like an orange. So those are gonna be our three rhinestones. All right, so let's see where these go. All right, we're gonna start with the ABs. I'll just point out where they go. So the first one is gonna be AB01. And that's the nine. Okay, I'm seeing it in her hair, definitely in her hair. So I'm just gonna bring this up closer for y'all to see the nines. So I definitely see it's gonna be like in the waves of her hair, kind of how her curls are coming down. I definitely see nines. Hopefully y'all can see that. Yep, they're just kind of sprinkled all throughout her hair. I'm seeing if I see them anywhere down here in the flowers and in her dress and her... Okay, it's gonna be in, oh, I see some in her lips. She does have a couple, a few here. Couple of nines there. Some right here in that that little the crescent moons on her cheek. More in her hair. So it's gonna be the kind of the strips in her hair, different colors of purple. That's gonna be really, really pretty. Uh, I don't see any in her eyes, and there's several more over here. Okay, so definitely in her hair. That's gonna be the first A B. And the next one is that red. So that's A B04. And that's the down arrow. Okay, I see it in this flower. And it's a small bag, so I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot. But I do see that down arrow right here on the edge of this petal right here on this flower. So I see it there. I see a few sprinkled over here. And let's see, where else would it be? This this little, it looks like a pretzel. <laughs> or it looks like a pumpkin maybe, because I do see the, the little um, stalk. But yeah, it's gonna be on the outside of this. Uh, let's see, I think that's it. Yeah, so those two things are gonna have a pop of red. So it'll be here and here. That'll look really good. Okay, here's our other purple, it's 211. And that one is E. Yep, and that's also in her hair. Yep, so those two purples are gonna really look good together. I see E's right here. I just see it all sprinkled all, like you're gonna have the nines, and you're gonna have the E's. So it's gonna be all through here, also in that little circle right there. I do see some in her lips. And more in her hair over here, her bangs, and over here. All right, 
And then this pink, it's a little bag of pink, 3807. That is the three little dots. Okay, that's gonna be in her lips. Do y'all see that? It's almost like a triangle, but it's like three little dots. So in her lips, I do see some right here in her face, this pink, that hot pink. And there is some right here in her bangs and her hair. Okay. And then the last one is that lighter, that lighter pink, 3609. And that one is the upside down T. Okay, that's also in her lips. Her lips are gonna be really pretty. It's that T right there, the upside down T. So on her lips, I do see some right here under her eyes and here. Um, oh yeah, I, yeah, there's a bunch right here too in this bow. That's gonna look really cute. And I think that's gonna be it. All right, so let's see where the rhinestones go. All right, we're gonna start off with this purple 208. That's a big bag. And that is three. Okay, so I'm just kind of starting at the bottom. I don't see any down in the flower or in her brooch right here. It's gotta be in her hair probably. Oh, I do see a few in her lips. I see some threes. Yep, so a few there. Uh, let's see, I definitely see a lot in her hair. Yeah, there's threes right here. All the three, her hair is gonna look so good. And let's see, yeah, on her hair. And then she does have some on her lashes. I see threes right here with her, her eyelashes going down. Same, let me see if I see any, yeah, there's just a lot in her bangs, on her hair. Oh, this is gonna be so cute and all through this side. Okay, so next one is 666. It's that little pop of red. I am curious to see where that goes. And that's the, kind of the white triangle on one side. Yeah, that's gonna be in this flower down here. Yep, I do see it. It's right there. I see some kind of around this, this flower with the eyeball. And it's gonna be also in this pretzel slash pumpkin. <laughs> Not sure what that is. And um, I think that's it. Yeah, because it is a small bag. Okay, the last one is this really pretty orange. Small bag as well. That's 740, and that's gonna be the T kind of, um, kind of going sideways. Let's see where I see that. Um, I'm looking, hmm, okay. I had to pause because I was not able to find that symbol, but I finally did. Well, I take that back. My daughter, my 10 year old daughter found the symbol because <laughs> my old eyes. Um, it, there's just a few of them, but they are in this flower. You can see that bright orange right there. That's gonna be the, that, that, Chris, that rhinestone right here. And there's a little, a few right here. So it's gonna kind of just be sparkling in this flower. So yes, y'all definitely go grab this again. It's in stock. Be twinsies with me. Let's like do this during, you know, the fall and Halloween. How fun would that be? And this is so cute. Cause like I said, I already have Java Joanna completed and it would, they're the same orientation. They would look so cute together. So go grab it. You'll get it quick, quick, quick. And uh, maybe we can work on it together. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. They really do help. And if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you. There's, there's a subscribe button down below and it's absolutely 100% free. So click on that and you'll be part of my world. And then um, there's a notification bell right next to that subscribe button. Click on that and then you'll be part of my world and you'll get notified whenever I post up any new videos. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, she's so cute. I love this. And y'all let me know, is this a pretzel or a pumpkin? Let me know. It could be both. Let me know. I know it's definitely a caramel apple. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, love you guys so much. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.